Now, there is no doubt that animal activism is gaining traction and has in recent years. But are we paying attention? Water is a basic right. Let Anita go. The protests today in support of Anita Krein, who gave water to pigs on their way to slaughter, is only one of many actions that have caused outrage about the treatment of animals. You'll remember this disturbing video shot by an animal rights group that alleges mistreatment of chickens at Maple Lodge Farms. I like hitting them in the face and the paws which get the paws off the floor. And with the beauty of the paws being on the uh, rock, mm. when you hit them, it's like a vice. This PETA video shot at Bowmanville Zoo. There's no doubt that people find them upsetting, but do they change behavior? Are people eating less meat, for example? The answer is undoubtedly yes. Are you vegetarian? Half. Is that right? Yeah. Why? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> well, our informal poll outside St. Lawrence Market did not find many full vegetarians. Are you a vegetarian? Uh, no, but I was. Every person but one said they would try to eat less meat, but the reasons were varied. Because I don't like it. I just don't like meat. It's healthier, right? About half said their reasons were moral. Why? Ide ideology. Sometimes I feel bad for the animals. Data out of the University of Guelph's Food Institute confirms this. Fully 13 million people in Canada have reduced their consumption of meat. 37% of Canadians are actually actively looking for alternative sources of protein, like uh, vegetable proteins and fish. But they're not giving up on, on, the, on those commodities. They're still buying beef and pork, but they're buying less of it. So for sure, activism, there's no question in your mind that that has had an impact. Oh, absolutely. The consumer is now clearly the new CEO of the food supply chain. We were founded in 1945. David Alexander has been involved in the vegetarian community in Toronto for 10 years and is a vegan himself. He says the evidence is clear. The number of vegetarian businesses, restaurants and cafes in Toronto has doubled in the last few years to 140. He says there's no doubt activism has played a part. There's obviously... Um a variety of motivations for becoming veg, uh, environmental concerns, health concerns, and concerns for animals all play a part, yeah. but it's certainly um, the passion around compassion, uh, compassion for animals has really grown. Now, according to a study by the Vancouver Humane Society, the province of B.C. is the most vegetarian friendly, but Ontario is not far behind. It says 8% of people here are either vegetarian or mostly vegetarian.